Hi everyone, my name is Avery Kelly here at True Star Media and I am so excited today to be able to sit down and talk with the amazing, fantastic Zion Brodnax from Netflix's new movie, Day Shift. Zion, how are you today? Good, how are you doing? I am so good. I am so excited to even be here to speak with you today. In three words, how would you say you are feeling? I am feeling excited. I'm feeling like I'm ready for this interview and I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Those are three amazing words. I have to say for me, I am feeling, I'm feeling very energetic. I originally was a little bit tired because I just got back from school and who wants to do that? And I am also feeling really, really happy because I'm happy to be here on this interview with you today. So now that we've gotten a little bit of our feelings out about how we are feeling, let's get started to talk all about the movie that you were in. You played the character Paige. What was it like playing her character? What were you, would you say are some similarities and differences from your on-screen character and who you are in real life? Okay. I feel like our similarities are we're confident. Mm -hmm. We are, we both love our parents. Um, and I would say we're both like a little independent, but we're able to like take help from our from friends and family. Mm -hmm. The way we're different, um, Paige isn't really scared of anything. Mm -hmm. I'm scared of like tiny spiders because oh. I could do a big spider, but I can't do tiny ones because I can't <laughs> see where they are, where they're going. Right, that's true. See, you know, I feel you on that because I can do big bugs because with big bugs I know exactly where it is to just get rid of it for tiny ones I, if I feel them crawling on me and I can't see it that's a <laughs> that is a yeah. so I feel you on that I feel you on that and you know what Paige is a very fearless character we can see that all throughout the movie and you embody her character so well how mm -hmm. was the on-set experience like for you what how is it different from other projects that you may have been a part of in the past um, it, well, okay. It's different from the projects I've done in the past because I've never, of course, done any of these things. I've never seen vampires. I've never went in a cave. I've never been kidnapped. Um, <laughs> and the experience of the whole, the whole thing was amazing because the cast is just amazing. Jamie being there, cracking jokes, bringing his boom box. Sometimes he'll like be playing music and we all start dancing and stuff. Oh. It's really great. <laughs> oh, that sounds fun. I mean, I want to have an onset dance party. That seems so fun. So fun. <laughs> now, one thing that I want to know, what was it like having to pretend that you were being kidnapped by vampires? Like, all there were some crazy things that your character went through. What would you say was the most memorable moments of film for you? Okay, my the most memorable memorable moment was the car chase mm. because I have never been on a roller coaster my entire life because um, I'm a little short so I've never been able to <laughs> make re me, reach the height limit. Mm -hmm. Um, so when I went on this car thing, it was like twenty foot high and there was a car on top and it was like moving around. Wow. It was it was like a roller coaster. Wow. So you got to have that two experiences all in one to tell that you yeah. are in the space and be on a roller coaster at the same time. Now that is really can be a tad bit scary, but also seems really, really, really fun. And yeah. I can really just see how much that you enjoyed being on set, by the way, that you were talking about it. I mean, you're talking about the onset dance parties. You're talking about your fun with the cast, with the crew. What would you say was your ultimate favorite part about being in this project and playing your character? What's What makes it such a, ah, I love this for you? The cast, the cast, like I said, is a really great cast, JJ Perry. He lets all the crew members and cast members ad, ad lib and do stuff that wasn't in the script. If he likes it or not, you know, he'll say, oh, no, or yes. It's just <laughs> a really great cast. I just love it. And it's a really great experiment, experience. Mm. 
It seems so fun. And, you know, I can see just how close that you guys are. I mean, I'm sure you and the cast have become like a family in a sense, because mm -hmm. y'all have to spend all of that time together, getting to know each other, spend time together working on such a cool project. I mean, I can see the bond that you guys have. So no wonder that was your favorite part about being <laughs> in this project. I fully get that. And now, a, a question that could be a little bit hard. I know it could be for me because I'm a very indecisive person. But if you could relive one specific moment from when you were on set working on day shifts, which moment would it be that you relive? That is a hard question. Okay. If I was to relive, it would be that car chase for me. That could be, <laughs> that could be fun. Hmm. I'm going between the kidnapping scene and the car chase. Mm, I feel I'm you. Gonna, that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to say the car chase. Mm, I feel you. I feel you. I mean, once again, it being like it's, it's a roller coaster, and I'm a huge fan of roller coasters, so that seems fun to do for sure. Okay. And also, once again, you are 11 years old, and you have worked on so much throughout your young age. And even though you may be young, you have some big, big, big dreams. What would you say is a career goal you see for yourself in the future? Hmm. In the future? Well, it's funny because after Day Shift came out, I got a couple emails from fans saying that they could see me doing the live action Moon Girl. And I was mm -hmm. like, I could see myself doing that too. I so, <laughs> so probably doing like a live action Moon Girl from Marvel or a live action anything kind of because I love action. I love fighting. I just love it. Oh, I love that. And, you know, Day Shift is truly an action thriller film. So for you to break out in this and to move forward in your career, trying to be in even more thrillers and even more actions and you being a live action Moon Girl. I had never even, it never even came across my mind until you just mentioned it. And I'm like, oh, you would be perfect for that. And you know, I'm a huge Marvel fan. Are you a Marvel fan? Yes. Oh, who's your favorite character? Okay, okay. Favorite character? Spider-Man. Mm, that's a really good choice. That's a really <laughs> good choice. See, I would have to say, um, it used to be Scarlet Witch, but you know, she has kind of been going through a lot. So I'd have to say either Spider-Man or Black Panther. I really yeah. love Black Panther. And the movie was just everything. And, yeah. and now one thing that I want to ask you just in a fun little way is if you were a song, if you were a song, and kind of think about this for a second. If you were a song, what song would you say you are and why? And I know there are a lot of songs out there. So it could even be your favorite song, if so. But if you were one, which song would you say it would be? I would probably be Streets by Doja Cat Clean. Oh, I love that song. And I love the vibe of it too. Yeah. yeah. It's just so good. Like, it's something about it, especially the intro, when that beat drops. I'm with it. it. It is such a <laughs> song. I totally feel you on that. I'm a huge Doja Cat fan. I me too. To oh, I love that. One day, me and you, we're going to have to go to a Doja Cat concert together. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm pulling up and we're going to go together. I promise. I would have to say if I was a song, ooh, I think I may, I probably would be any of Beyonce's discography. Like I love Beyonce so much. Like the money I would pay to see her in concert is astronomical. So that I would maybe break my soul because it just came out. It has a really good message. So I'll say that would maybe be a song that I would be. But Streets by Doja Cat, clean version, chef's kiss to say the least. <laughs> now, one thing that I want to ask you is you have been in an industry that is surrounded by different legends and you are soon well on your way to becoming one of them yourself. Who would you say are some artists that inspire you, acting or artists in general? Okay. I, 
Okay, I have two favorite like actors and actresses, and I have two favorite artists. Okay. My two favorite actors and actresses are Ryan Reynolds mm. and Viola Davis. Oh, I love both of them. I especially love Viola Davis. Everything she's in is so powerful. Yeah, Woman King, Chef's Kiss. Oh my God, I haven't seen it yet. Is it good? Yes, it had me at the edge of my seat. Oh, okay, now I gotta go to the theaters and watch it. I was just talking to my dad about that movie too. I have to go <laughs> see it. <laughs> and then my favorite artist are Doja Cat and uh, Michael Jackson. Oh, I love me some Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is good. What would you say is your favorite Michael Jackson song? My favorite Michael Jackson song is Chicago. Oh, really? Yeah. It's so funny because I did not expect for you to say Chicago because that's actually one of my favorite Michael Jackson songs. So I love that you said that. And also, you know, True Star, Chicago-based magazine. I'm from Chicago, so we love it. We love it. <laughs> I would have to say one of my favorite Michael Jackson songs is that. And it may come off as a little bit basic, but PYT, just because it's a classic for me and I really love it. You know, there'll be some adults that'll say like, what y'all know about Michael Jackson? Just because we're young. <laughs> come on now, come on now. It's a living legend here, a living legend. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I love how those are some of your favorite artists that inspire you. And, you know, since you're in the entertainment world, I have got to ask, what would you say is one of your favorite shows or a show that you've ever thought of? Oh, my gosh, I want to be a part of that show so bad. Stranger Things. Stranger, Stranger Things. Things. Yeah, I love Stranger Things. Oh, what would if you could be a character in Stranger Things, what type of character would you want to be? Hmm. I was a character in Stranger Things. Um, I would probably be like maybe Erica's friend that she introduces to everyone. Oh, and like something ends up happening. I don't know. How, it's not all good, but <laughs> no, I really could see you as that. And you know, you could go on some of the adventures with them. We see that season five is coming up, so you know. They can put you on. You're a part of the Netflix family now. So they need to bring you up on it, girl. They need to reel you in real quick because you're a part of the Netflix family now. And that actually leads me into my question. How does it feel to now be a part of a family as huge as Netflix? What is that like for you? It's really great because I love Netflix. I've watched it since whatever, for, for, from since I was born, basically. And I remember one time me sitting in the living room and me memorizing how to spell Netflix. I don't know why. I was just memorizing how to spell it. Um, so it's really exciting because it's like a dream come true. Oh, I'm so glad. You know, being on Netflix is such a big deal. And also for Day Shift to become one of the number one movies in the country, that is such a huge deal. I One, I'm so proud of you. And how did it feel when you got to see the final product of the movie for the first time? What was that like for you? I was so excited. <laughs> we were like on the deck we have a deck in my house where you can go outside and like watch movies or something so we were on the deck and my mom I think got an email and we got this like super secret little link we could put in and we could watch the movie we watched it I I loved it <gasps> it was oh so good I was so excited and happy oh that's so nice and you were able to watch with your family and everything yeah Oh, it must have been so fun to share that moment with everyone and to be able to see yourself on that big screen too. I would be like, oh my gosh, look, there's me right there. And just to see everything that your character went through, everything that your character was able to do. Because when I tell you Paige is one of the most fearless girl bosses on the planet and you truly embodied her to the best of your ability. So I want to just say props to you, girl, because you killed it in that role. And I just know that everybody is going to love watching Day Shift on Netflix. Remember to go and stream it. And Zion, once again, thank you so much for being here thank with you. us here at True Star Media. I had the best time talking with you. Is there anything else that you would like to say to the True Star family? Hmm. 
Make sure to watch Netflix and make sure to give it a thumbs up. Yes, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up because that movie is worth it. Okay, thank you so much again. Have a great rest of your day. It was so nice meeting you and we will be going to that Doja Cat concert. Mm -hmm. See you there. <laughs>